All right, we're going to continue with our three gentlemen here. Go ahead, Paul. You know, another thing is funny thing thinking about Babe Rose, but I used to love the fall in Bay because you oh, kids yeah. won't remember this, but we used to have great leaves and put them into our into the ditch because we didn't have gutters, we had ditches, and we'd light them on fire. Yes. And you'd have the smoke oh, the all over the place fall. and the oh, smell yeah. of it, oh. absolutely unbelievable. Oh, yeah. it was, and and I remember it today. Yeah. Uh, every time I go down my street, I can remember it. Even though the curbs, you know, we have curbs now, we don't have the ditches, but uh, I can remember that. I do. I, I remember fun. coming home from church at St. Rayfield's as a kid, and you could hardly drive down Wolf Road yeah. because there was so much smoke that was trailing out. That uh, funny, and it was. That's such a great uh, description, Thomas. The smell of fall. Yeah. You know, so so given where you grew up, what have you watched and changed just in the topography or the the just the, the how was Bay Village? Tom, we'll start with you in the 50s. Well, Bay Village has always been the same size, small, half mile wide, six miles long. And so it's, um, there are fewer vacant lots now. The city has uh, built up, but it has not um, changed the, uh, the mix of the village because it's still residential. Um, early on, Lake Road and Wolf Road were through um, uh, roadways, and so that's where most of the homes built, and then lots on the um, side streets, but they were not next to each other, they were spread out. And <clears throat> I had the pleasure of, of living on the north side of Lake Road, so all summer we would always, my brother and I, we would spend all our time on the lake, down the hill. and. Uh, there was a beach at that time, small, but it was not, uh, we didn't have the erosion problems that currently people deal with over there. So it was a safe neighborhood. We had a farm bill in our backyard, and when it was supper time, my mother would go out and she'd just ring that bell, and you could, <laughs> you could probably hear it here. <laughs> uh, that was how we were called home for, for supper. So in the lake, so the lake because you had a beach and you had a, it, it was easier to get that one. It wasn't a straight cliff down. You guys oh, could go it, down. It was a, it was a um, gradual hill. Yeah. So you were down at the lake all day long. Oh, we we live in the lake in the summer. Yeah. How about you, Tom? I lived on electric drive on the uh, east end of Bay Village, and across the street was where the Interurban Railroad went. So there was no no houses or anything there for a long time. And we used to go follow the old and urban to uh, Columbia, and Columbia Beach is where we did our swimming. Spent the whole summer down there. Yeah. Was the inner urban still running when you were a kid? No, no, it was gone. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. How about you, Paul? I grew up on Lake uh, Lake Forest. That's where my parents uh, we moved here in '54, and uh, it's the same. I think it's the same as it was smaller. City is the same size, but it was uh, there were a lot of vacant lots which we don't have anymore today. How about the West End of Bay? The West End of Bay from Bradley Road West, there was nothing. Farm. Yeah. Just farms, yeah. woods, just nothing. A lot of grape vineyards. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. a matter of fact, where I live right now is, uh, used to be an apple orchard. Yep. I used to have one of the apple trees still in my front yard. It's <laughs> well, no longer there, but it's... You have to remember... Oh, That's okay, go ahead. We have to remember at that time that... Um, the roads weren't like they are now. Automobiles, you know, if you had a car in your family, your father probably had it at work. And so we lived with bicycles for every place we went and our whole universe was probably a couple blocks wide. So, you know, boys and girls, you know, we just all, yeah, there was no concern to play each other and we play war games which was popular and uh, on everybody's mind constantly when I was a kid and uh, so we we dig uh, foxholes in the in the hill and uh, use a broomstick and you know it was just a lot of fun pretend like you're pretend like you're a soldier in World War II oh yeah yep oh yeah we uh, we're gonna pick forced. up in a second 